so today in this video we shall learn how to find gcf of 4 8 and 12 so before finding gcf we should know what the gcf stands for so gcf stands for greatest common factor so in this video we shall find gcf of 4 8 and 12 by two method first one by factorization method and second one by division method so we, we shall go through by factorization method so gcf of 4 8 and 12 by factorization method so while finding gcf by factorization method we have to factorize all the given numbers means we have to find out the prime factors of all the given numbers so here numbers are 4 8 and 12 means we have to find the prime factors of 4 8 and 12 separately so now we find out factorization of 8 means prime factors of 4 so it is as you know while finding prime factors we choose the lowest number which can exactly divide the given number so it is 2 times 2 means 4 like as 2 times 1 means 2 another number is 8 so in the same way it is 2 times 4 means 8 and 2 times 2 means 4 like as 2 times 1 means 2 like as our last number is 12 so it is 2 times 6 means 12 like as 2 times 3 means 6 and 3 times 1 means 3 so we have factorized all the given numbers means we have taken the prime factors of all the given numbers so after that we have to write all the prime factors of given numbers separately so it is prime factors of 2 4 are 2 multiple 2 like as you can write 8 is equal to 2 multiple 2 multiple 2 from here so like as you can write 12 is equal to 2 multiple 2 multiple 3 so we have so we have written the, all the factorizing numbers of given numbers so as you know we are finding here gcf so you must know while finding gcf gcf is the product of all the common elements so first of all we have to determine the common elements so here we can write common elements is equal to common elements in all three numbers are here is 2 common so 2 is the common element like as 2 is again common so 2 and 2 are the common elements so we can write 2 multiple 2 as you know gcf is the product of all the common elements so here common elements are 2 and 2 means we have to find out the product of 2 and 2 therefore we can write gcf is equal to 2 multiple 2 means 4 so gcf of 4 8 and 12 is 4 so in this way we can find gcf by factorization method so now we can learn to find gcf by division method so by division method so while finding gcf by division method you have to divide the greater number with the lower number until there is no remainder at last so here is three num here are three numbers 4 8 and 12 so first of all we take first two numbers and after that we divide with we take the last number so here numbers are 4 and 8 and 8 is the greater number and 4 is the lower number means we have to divide 8 by 4 so it is 4 times 2 means 8 so since there is no remainder at last so 4 takes no remainder at last so it becomes the gcf like as our another number is 12 since 4 take no remainder at last so we divide 12 with 4 also so it is 4 times 3 means 12 so here is also no remainder and here is also no remainder 
since 4x no remainder at last in 12 and again 4x no remainder at last in 8 so 4 becomes the GCF of 4, 8 and 12 so in division method also we can write GCF is equal to 4 so you have to remainder is while finding GCF by division method you have to keep dividing the divisor with remainder until there is no remainder at last and the number of the divisor which take no remainder at last becomes the GCF by division method so here in GCF method in division method GCF is 4 like as in factorization method GCF is 4 so we can write GCF of 4, 8 and 12 is 4 so in this way you can find GCF by factorization as well as division method so that much for today and if you have any question maybe from your book maybe from your school homework maybe from your tuition homework or anywhere if you have any doubt regarding science and math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question so thank you